Good morning. Um, there was a request to do a little bit more information from um, on sign charts. So I just want to take a second and run through that real quick and see what we can get figured out. So um, I'm limited to five minutes, so I'll probably chunk these into two videos. But the first one is sketching graphs from a sign chart. So draw a graph of a polynomial function with x-intercepts and signs indicated in their chart below. So here's what this tells me so far. The first thing it tells me is positive. Anywhere it's positive, we are above the x-axis. These zeros are right on the x-axis, and then a negative is below. Right? That's where positive numbers live. That's where negative numbers live. So the first one is at negative 4. So I'm going to click. Um, I know that I need to hit, sorry, I know I need to hit at negative 4. I need to hit at 0. I need to hit at 3. I need to hit at 6. And then I can go off. Now, I'm starting positive. So I'm starting up here positive. Now, at negative 4, I stay positive. So I'm going to bounce at negative 4. I'm going to go to 0. And I'm going to bounce at 0. Now, I'm just making it up of what my graph is doing as far as how high it's going and how low it's going. The important things are where did it cross, where did it bounce, where is it positive, where is it negative. Right now, in this chunk, my graph is positive. At negative 4, I don't cross over, but I better at least touch. I stay positive again. I touch again at 0, but I stay positive. Then at 3, and I got hopefully I'm close enough at 3, I go underneath to negative, and then at 6, I go back up to the positive. Remember, positive is above, negative is below. So when I submit this, I say yes, and it says, hey, you did a really good job. Notice their graph looks different than mine. Mine was flatter here and taller over here and whatever. It doesn't really matter. The, what matters is, is notice how they have their green chunks and their red chunks because am I above or am I below? If I click, see, look at my graph, their graph, nah, not great, but it gets the job done. feel pretty good about it. If I click next problem, the next one's going to ask you to do the same thing. This one, however, the key places are negative 2, and I'm supposed to be positive before I get to negative 2. It's supposed to be negative when I get to positive 2. I'm supposed to stay negative after positive 2 to 6. And I'm po um, Stay negative after 2 to get to 6, and then I'm positive after that. So if I click and drag, I start positive. Hit here. I am going under. I am supposed to stay negative, so I don't want to cross over. But then when I get to 6, then I get to go back up into positive land. Submit my answer. Fabulous. Okay, so then I would go on to the next section. I'm going to pause this video, and I'll come back for the second half. Talk to you soon.